Oh, there you are, YouTube. It is a hot day. It's not so much that it's hot, but it is a humid day. I wish I could walk my camera outside so that you could feel the difference between indoors and outdoors. I just went out to drop off some recycling, like in our recycling bin that's outside, and it's like, like you could actually, like what you're breathing in is like sludge. It's just so thick. I feel like you could swim through the air because it's so thick. It is incredibly humid today. Places that I've been that are extremely humid other than here, Florida, that place is very humid. My mother, I've never been to New Orleans, but my mother traveled to New Orleans and she said that place is even more humid than anything she's ever experienced in Florida. And she's been to Florida more times than I have, I think. But what we're feeling today, I feel like for me here in our location is some of, at least, I don't know, like maybe things have been more humid when I was a kid. But I feel like this is the most humid it's ever been in my lifetime that I can think of because it's even difficult to escape indoors. Like, I feel okay. I mean, it's weird because it's not like it's super hot, but, but just hot, just regular hot. But the humidity, like, makes it stick to you or something. I got beads of sweat right there. And we have our house set on, like, 72, 73 or something like that. And I am just sweating in here because that all just stuck to me and I can't like get the humidity off. It's a very strange sensation the way it feels outside. The air is just stale and it's weird because even earlier today the wind was blowing because you know a nice breeze will help but when it's this humid a breeze does nothing in a way that reminds me of when I was in Phoenix. I went to Phoenix um, to, to visit and like that's the hottest temperature I've ever been in. Like they were breaking records when I was there, the heat. I, I'd never seen this. This has like gotta be a like cultural thing or a survival thing when you're living out there. Like here you'll see people with like bottled wa bottles of water, you know, just something, nothing too big. But out there they carry like milk jugs of water around and I was like wow that is very different from home you know some people may bring water some people may not I don't bring water with me my wife always does but you know it's just in a standard jug or not jug just water bottle or uh I don't know if, I don't know what you call those things hydro flask or something like that so when I was in Phoenix people were just walking around with those jugs but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the air the air in Phoenix has like zero humidity, but I was feeling like, I think 112, 121 or something temps when I was there. Like it was nothing I'd ever felt before. And it was like when you open an oven, like to check on your cookies or whatever, that feeling is what a breeze felt like those days in Phoenix when I was there. It was so weird where the breeze did nothing except for blow hot air, just like opening an oven. It was, I don't know, people from Phoenix, if you are watching right now, you're probably like, yeah, that's just our life. But I don't know, that was something very new to me that I had never experienced. This is this heat is just not going away. But in it, again, our house is just at 72. I guess the air is blowing right now, which means it's probably at 73 right now. And it's trying to get back down to 72, but I just can't ditch this humidity that is like stuck to my body. But that's what I'm saying. The, the breeze in Phoenix felt like an oven. So it wasn't like an escape from what heat you were feeling. And that's sort of what earlier today was. Cause I, when I just went out, it was very stale. Nothing was moving. Everything was stagnant. So it was just like walking into a, a patch of, of, of like fog or something. I don't, it was just like, like, again, it felt like you could swim through it. But earlier today when it was breezy, it was just blowing more humidity on you and it just felt like nothing. Plus it was just so thick. It's, it's weird to describe air 
as thick, but that is totally what it felt like. And I, I'm sorry, that's what today's vlog is, just me talking about the weather and how humid it is. I'm sure it's been more humid than this, but it's been a while since I've felt humidity at this rate. I, I didn't even look it up on the, what do you, how do you find humidity? Barometer or something like that? I probably, and it's, it wasn't, I guess it was raining this morning when I first woke up, but it was, you know, it, it never broke. It never turned in, turned into rain or anything like that. It was just a very different experience or one that I have not felt in a long time. So long that it feels like it's the most humid it's ever been. Humidity is weird. I think it is so strange because it feels like if you could jump into the air, you might hold there for a while. You will you will stay there a little bit, you know, like, like on the moon. You jump up and it takes you a while to come down because I feel like the atmosphere is just so thick, you know, nothing to do with gravity, but the atmosphere is so thick, it, feel, it kind of feels like it'll catch you. And then you have to slowly go back down. Do you remember those shampoo commercials where they had like these cylinders full of shampoo? It's like this shampoo versus our leading competitor shampoo and then they like drop a pearl or a marble or something in each one and then talk about which one the one the one the pearl that took longer to fall versus the other one was supposed to be the better shampoo because it's thicker that's like the air here except for i would say it is worse because it is so thick it is difficult to navigate through it is chunky i don't know i, I need to find a good word for this thick I feel like I can swim. Like this is how, you know, just like move the air beyond me so that I can move forward. That's what it felt like. But anyway, this is going on a little too long. If you made it to the end of this vlog, I thank you so much for doing so. Congratulations, because I'm sure this was not too exciting. But again, I wanna thank you if you made it. Congrats, <laughs> and I appreciate it. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.